Not far from El Salvador's capital is the cute town of Santa Ana. It's a common base camp for some epic volcano hikes, but the town itself has a colorful, antique charm with multicolored storefronts and elegant cathedrals. The town has a very local feel, as we stumbled upon a few church services, a food fundraiser, and got invited to dance with some old ladies at the bar. We even got invited to check out the rooftop of the cathedral to get sweeping views of the city below. A quick day trip from Santa Ana takes you to El Salvador's largest heritage site, Tazumel, home to ancient Mayan ruins. We had a great time exploring this small town as we prepared for our volcano hike, and here's how it went. Good afternoon, guys. We just took a chicken bus about two and a half hours from San Salvador up to Santa Ana, and it only cost like a dollar. It was super cheap to get here, and this is just this like cute little colonial town. It's surrounded by mountains, there's these colorful houses everywhere, and there should be some cool churches. It's a pretty small place, but then from here, there's some old ruins that you can see, and then there's a couple like volcanoes that we want to climb. So we're definitely stoked to climb like the Santa Ana volcano, Cerro Verde and Izalco, but first we just got in this afternoon so we're just going to kind of take a little afternoon stroll around town here, check out some of the markets, some of the squares, and some of the churches here in Santa Ana. So let's go check it out. First thing that we hit as we were just exploring the town here is just this. Hey, how's it going, man? Good to see you. The first thing that we hit was just this like market here, but it looked like on a map it looked like it was gonna be this open park, but we come here and it's all these tin shack shops and it's like this whole market in here. There's like local restaurants, there's people getting their hair cut, flower shops, pinata shops, and there's all these like little bars and stuff. And so yeah, let's just keep walking here. All right, so we walk into this first bar here, and this lady asks Franklin to start dancing with them. So they're dancing, we're gonna grab a drink with these guys and just have a good afternoon. that market there we just had like so much fun with this random group of people we ended up hanging out in that bar for a little bit we met this truck driver and a couple other people and we had a couple drinks with them but we wanted to explore a little bit of Santa Ana before it got too dark here so we just came out to the Church of the Calvary and it's this beautiful like yellow church there's this nice white steeple in the middle so we're gonna check this out real quick and then see what else there is in Santa Ana this afternoon it was Saturday night so tonight's mass at the church so we weren't able to explore deeply in the church but it was beautiful to hear the singing and everything there but the rest of the night we're actually just gonna go back to the market there grab some food grab some more drinks we're meeting up with some friends later so we're gonna have a couple more days to explore Santa Ana there's a lot to do but this is it for tonight so we'll see you guys tomorrow as we explore more of what Santa Ana has to offer Good morning guys, it's our second day here in Santa Ana, this cute little colonial town. And yesterday we were just checking out the markets and the church near our, our house, but then we ended up just having a lot of fun with the locals. So it was a good evening, did some dancing, and yeah, I got to hang out a little bit. But today we're gonna head down and check out the other colonial plaza this way, see some of the churches, see the town square a little bit, and then we're gonna jump in a bus and head to some of the ruins that surround here. So 
Santa Ana is this very small town here, but, or at least the colonial part is pretty small. But this is the center here, and this is Liberty Plaza. And here you have the Municipal Palace, which is this like beautiful bright yellow building. We have the Theater of Santa Ana, and then we have the new Santa Ana Cathedral. And most of these buildings were built in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And then we have like a little gazebo here in the middle of the park. And there's some nice trees, some nice shade. There's some restaurants along the side here. But yeah, just a nice little kind of center of town. There was this lady feeding the pigeons. As we walked in, the bells of the church were ringing and it was just this beautiful sound throughout this park. to the new Santa Ana Cathedral and unfortunately there's a lot of scaffolding on the outside so they're doing some renovations but let's see if we can head into the cathedral here. Alright so it's the weekend so it sounds like they might be just starting a mass again here but let's see if we can at least go in and see some of the church. Last night we hit Saturday Mass at the other church and this morning we hit Sunday Mass at this church so we weren't able to explore the church as fully but the church is beautiful with these high arching ceilings in there and beautiful colored stone all the way up. Alright so right outside the front of the church they were doing a little fundraiser selling some pupusas and some coffee so I think we're gonna head back to the front here and get some pupusas. Right in front of the church here, they're just whipping out some pupusas here. You can see the old lady just like slapping the dough together and frying them here. And yeah, it was like $2.50 for three pupusas and a coffee. And then we're just sitting right here on the street overlooking the Libertad Plaza. All right, so while we were waiting for our pupusas, they invited us to go up to the top of the Santa Ana Cathedral here. So yeah, let's go see what it's like from up there and get the view of the town. just climbed up the bell tower and now we're actually on top of the roof of the church and there's like these catwalks all up here and you can climb all along the edge of the church and you just have these beautiful views of the mountains all around us. Over there you can see Santa Ana Volcano, that's the volcano that we'll hike tomorrow. But yeah, very cool to be up here and these bell towers are so beautiful and you know we can still see the scaffolding below us but up here we just have a little bit more of a clean look at these spires. So yeah, let's just kind of walk around the top of the church here. We are on our way to Tazumel, which is only about eight or ten miles from here, but we have to figure out like a couple buses. And at Tazumel, there should be some really cool old Mayan ruins. So let's try to figure out the bus to Tazumel. We've come to this like unassuming corner, kind of on the edge of the colonial town here, and we're looking for bus 218 that'll take us to Tazumel. There's not really like a bus stop, but it says on the map in some 
guy on our other bus said this is the place, so hopefully we'll find the bus soon. We just took about a 45 minute chicken bus to the little town of Tazumel. We are just walking through the little town here and we're gonna head to the old Mayan ruins. So we've just entered the archeological site of Tazumel and this is the biggest pyramid in all of El Salvador. It was also one of the first archeological sites discovered here in El Salvador and it was only discovered in the 1940s when some of the local villages here were looking for stones for their house. They found this big mound of rocks that was kind of buried and they eventually excavated this huge temple here, Tazumel. And so this is an old Mayan ruin from about 100 to 500 AD is the estimated time that this was built and that people were living and worshiping here. They also found a bunch of tombs in here. I think 32 tombs were found throughout this complex. So it's not too big, but there's about three temples. So we're gonna kind of just like walk around and explore these ruins. This is really cool and a lot bigger than I actually expected. So I'm excited to explore. Some little ruins to kind of explore. There's not too many people here and if anything it's mostly locals like I haven't even seen many other tourists. We were able to just kind of sit up there for a while and just look at the pyramid and yeah just overseeing all of these like beautiful volcanoes surrounding us here in El Salvador. So we'll probably head back down and check out a little bit of the Tazumel town here and there are other ruins on the other side of town. I don't think they're as big, but there might be more of them. So we might head across town to check those out too. But let's kind of head down here and go back to town. As we've been just walking across town here, we found this tiny little lake right on the edge of town. There's some people fishing, there's some little ducks out there, and yeah, just a nice little quiet park here in the middle of town. We've just cut all the way across the town of Tazumel to Casa Blanca, which is another archeological site here. So we're gonna head in and check out some of these old ruins. Right when you enter Casablanca, there's this little colonial looking house that has a couple different museums that gives you different history on some of the archeology span and some of the Mayan history, a little bit about the human sacrifices. And now we're walking through the woods and we're gonna see some of the more ancient Mayan ruins here. But they say that this place has been occupied since 1200 BC. And then it was in the sixth century AD when Lake Ipilanga, which we saw the other day near San Salvador, erupted. That's like 50 miles away. And it kind of wiped out a lot of this civilization here. So yeah, let's uh, walk through the woods and check out some of these old ruins. deep into the forest here at Casablanca, we have just a couple of these big mounded pyramids that were here like 3,000 years ago. And now you can barely see the shape of them, but pretty amazing to just see this ancient, ancient architecture here, just in the jungles of El Salvador. <laughs> We 
just walked all the way through the forest path and it ended at this little pit here and they said that at the bottom of this pit there's an altar and there were some clay figurines found here but they were buried from the Ilpango volcanic eruption that was like in 600 AD. So that was Casablanca. Not a lot to see, but very interesting history. And again, the fact that this civilization was around for over a thousand years, and then suddenly a volcano that blew up 50 miles from here kind of just wiped them out. It was very interesting. Anyways, we're gonna head back to the bus stop, grab a chicken bus, and head back to the town of Santa Ana for the afternoon. All right, we got about 45 minutes standing up on the chicken bus. All right guys, we just got off our chicken bus from Tazu Mall and they dropped us off a couple blocks from the Centro here, but we get to see this little local market and a little bit of a different side of Santa Ana. It's a little bit more chaotic and crazy, but there's a lot of like clothing shops, food shops, there's some restaurant stalls and just a lot of people walking, but then you also have these big chicken buses just running down the street. So it's a cool kind of experience here in Santa Ana. Pass through the market quickly. It looked like they were packing everything up because it's Sunday afternoon. So now we're just walking some of these back streets of Santa Ana and I just love how colorful these colonial towns are and then you just see the mountains kind of off in the distance there. We are back in the historic center of Santa Ana and that's about it for exploring the town of Santa Ana and Tazumel the last couple days and tomorrow we're actually going to wake up really early and we're going to head up to Santa Ana Volcano and Cerro Verde and do some really cool hiking and check out the lakes but I'm going to put that in the next video so we will see you guys in the next video when we do some of the hikes around Santa Ana.